All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design, and it is the Mega Peacock Feather Bracelet. And, yeah. So, over a year ago, I created another bracelet called the Peacock Feather Bracelet, and you can make this bracelet here on the monster tail which I also have a tutorial for and it'll be linked down in the description if you want to go and make this one first but anyway I'll be showing you how to make this much bigger version here and to make it you're going to need an alpha loom you're also going to need a hook of some kind I would recommend using just an ordinary hook for this design but if you want to use your alpha comb, there are some times where it's going to be better to use a regular hook. So I would recommend just using a regular hook. But if you want to use your alpha comb, you can. It's just going to be more difficult. You're also going to need clips. You're going to need seven of them. And I'll be using all C clips for this. And you're going to need rubber bands. And there are two groups. I'll explain what they both are. So the A group, the A rubber bands, they are going to be the rubber bands that are kind of going like sideways. It's kind of hard to explain what they are. But they're the turquoise rubber bands here in the example. And the B rubber bands are going to be the other rubber bands that kind of pop out more. And they are the rainbow colors here in the example. So yeah. If you're going, if you want one color to show up more than the other, make it the B color band in the B color group, and then the other color that you're using will just be the A color bands. And you're going to need a lot of rubber bands for this. So, yeah, in this tutorial, I won't be making a full length bracelet, but yeah, you're going to need a lot of rubber bands to make this. So anyway, to figure out how many bands you'll need, go down to the description. It will tell you about how many rubber bands of, in each group there are for about one inch or one centimeter of the bracelet. And yeah, so just use the pause button to get the supplies you need. And we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So it really doesn't matter which, where the rainbow loom words or this little hole is facing, but you still want to have it facing one certain direction just to get used to that. So I'm just going to have mine, the rainbow loom words, facing towards the left. Alright. So first you're going to want to get a few A color bands, more than one, definitely. And we're going to be making, replacing the cat band rubber band first. So this is how we're going to start our bracelet. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the two or three A color bands that we just got. And we're going to stretch them going all the way across the left side, or well, any side. So all the way across one side of the alpha loom. Like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our B color bands. And all of the B color rubber bands we'll be placing will be double B color bands. So that means we'll be placing two instead of one. And that's how you get them to pop out a little bit more than the other bands. Alright. So you're going to need 14 B color bands to start. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take two of our B color bands and we're going to place them going directly across from one side of the alpha loom to the other so on one pin on one side directly across to the pin on the other side just like that then we're going to get two more B color bands and place them going directly across on one pin on one side of the alpha loom straight across to the pin on the other side 
and we'll do this for all seven sets of pins. There you go. Once you've done that, you're going to get your hook, and we're going to loom these two or three, however many you go decided to use, A color bands are on the bottom, that will be our cap band, and we're going to carefully loom them up and over the pins. I would recommend doing it from the side, so from the sides like this, and just pulling them over carefully, and if you have your alpha comb nearby, you can still use it to push the bands down. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the pattern that we need to start to make the bracelet. So, here's the pattern. It's really simple. First we're going to get some B color bands, or A color bands. Getting them backwards now. And we're going to take one, and we're going to place it going horizontally on one side of the alpha loom. So across two pins on the alpha loom, like this. Then we're going to get two more, or one more, goodness, and place it going across the next two pins, and overlapping the first one, so it's like this here. It's kind of like you're placing a single chain. Then you'll get another... A color band and place it going across these next two pins. Then again, and you'll do this for the entire this entire side here. So now you have something like this on your loom, and then you'll do the exact same thing here on the other side. So you'll start over here and just place. A color band, it'll be like you're placing a single chain on your alpha loom. Alright, there you go. So you should have something like this on both sides of the alpha loom now. And what we're going to do is we're going to loom. So if you're using your alpha comb, this would be the time you could use it, but, or actually no it isn't. It's just really difficult to use the alpha comb, so yeah. Anyway, just use your hook. So you're just going to use your hook and you're just going to grab this, these two bottom B color bands and pull them up and over. Then here on this next pin, you just grab the bottom two B color bands, pull them up and over. And be careful, make sure you don't pull these other bands off. Grab the bottom two B color bands, pull them up and over. Next pin. Do this for all the pins on both sides of your alpha loom. Just make sure you turn your alpha loom around. There you go. So once you've done that on both sides, now you can use your alpha comb, if you have it nearby, to push the bands down. Alright, now next step in the pattern, we're going to get our B color bands now. Right. And to place them, you're going to get two B color bands, so they're all doubled, which means you have two instead of one. You're going to take 
two of your B color bands and place them going directly across from one pin on one side of your alpha loom to the pin on the other side, just like this, just, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get two more, I'm trying to figure this out, I'm doing a certain little color scheme. Okay, then you're going to get two more, place them going directly across from one pin on one side of the alpha loom to the other, and you'll do this for all seven sets of pins. Alright. Alright, and once you've done that, now you're going to get your hook, and we're going to loom again. So to loom, you just grab the bottom rubber band, or rubber bands, and they should be all A color bands. Just grab it with your hook and pull it up and over the pin. Then another pin, grab these bottom two A color bands, pull them up and over. Bottom two A color bands, pull them both up and over. And you'll do this for all the pins on both sides of the alpha loom. And the only time you're only looming one rubber band over is here on the outside pins. So like right here. Right. Make sure you do the other side. And once you finish, if you still have your alpha comb nearby, you can just push all the bands down using it. Alright, and now the pattern starts over. So, I'll go ahead and show you the pattern for making this bracelet two more times, and then I'll leave you to continue making the bracelet on your own. So the pattern is really simple. First we start with A color bands. And these A color bands are what we place horizontally on our loom. So we place them going across the sides here. Like they're all on one side and then... Yeah, anyway. So, first you take an A color band and you place it going across two pins on the same side of your loom. Like so. Then you get another B or A color band and place it on the next two pins, but it needs to overlap the first band, so it's like you're placing a single chain. Then you get another A color band and you place it the same way, except now it's on two different pins. And you're just going to place A color bands, kind of like you're making a single chain, here on one side of your alpha loom. Just like that. Now you'll do this exact same thing here on the other side. So take an A color band, basically across like that. Same thing. And again. Alright, and once you've done this, on both sides of your alpha loom, it's time to loom the bands. So, to do that, you just take your hook, grab the bottom two rubber bands, which should be B color bands, carefully pull them up and over. Then on another pin, grab the bottom two B color bands, pull them up and over. And you should always be looming two B color rubber bands, there should never be a place where there's only one. So, once again, get your hook, grab the bottom two B color bands, pull them up and over, and you'll just do this on all the pins on both sides of the alpha loom. And just be careful you don't loom or pull off any of these other A color bands you just placed. Alright, so now the other side. Oop, should probably do this side first. 
Yeah, on one side it's going to be a little more difficult to loom, depending on which hand you hold your hook in. But anyway, once you've loomed all those bottom bands, if you still have your alpha comb nearby, just you can use it to push down the bands. And now we're going to go on to the second part of the pattern, which are your B color bands. So go ahead and get those out. Right, and to start you're going to get two B color bands because they're always going to be two instead of one and you're going to place them going from one pin on one side of the alpha loom directly across to the other side on the pin on the other side just like that. Then again you're going to get two more B color bands and you're going to place them going from one pin on one side of the alpha loom directly across to the other and again, you're going to get two B color bands, place them going directly across from one pin on one side of the off loom to the other. And you'll just do this for all seven sets of pins. There you go. Once you've done that, you're going to get your hook, and we're going to loom. So, to loom, you just grab the bottom one or two A color bands, and the only time there should be one A color upper band is here on the outside pin. So over here on the outside, that's the only place you should have one A color band. So, you just use your hook, grab the bottom band, and pull it up and over. Have the bottom bands, pull them up and over, and just do this on all pins on your alpha loom. Alright, and once you've loomed all of the bottom A color bands on both sides of the alpha loom, you can use your alpha comb, if you have it nearby, to push all these bands down. And now the pattern starts over. So I'm going to show you the pattern for making the bracelet one more time, and then I'll show you how to close the bracelet off and all that fun stuff. So, to make the bracelet, you're going to need to start with A color bands first. And what you do with the A color bands is you place them, so in a little single chain, on both sides of the alpha loom. So. so first you take an A color upper band and place it going across two pins on the same side of your alpha loom. Then you get another one, another A color band, and place it going across two more pins. So it kind of looks like you're starting a single chain. Then you're going to get another A color band, place it going across that, and you'll just place a little single chain of A color bands here. There you go. Then you'll do the exact same thing here on the other side of your alpha loom. You'll just place A color bands, kind of like you're making a single chain. And by the way, the direction you go when you're placing these bands, if you place them going from right to left instead of left to right, it doesn't really affect the bracelet very much. I'm just placing from left to right because I'm left-handed. But Anyway, once you've placed all the A color bands that you'll need for this part of the pattern, now you're going to get your hook and we're going to loom. 
So you want to be careful when you're looming here. To loom, you just use your hook and grab the bottom two B color bands and pull them up and over the pins. Do the same thing on this other pin. Grab the bottom two B color bands and pull them up and over the pins. And just be careful not to pull the rubber bands you just placed off, so make sure they stay on those pins. But the B color rubber bands are all we're going to be taking off here. So just grab the bottom two B color bands, pull them up and over. And just do this for all the pins on your alpha loom. Alright, and once you've loomed all those bottom B color bands, you're just gonna, if you have your alpha comb, you can use it to push down all these other bands. Alright, now we're gonna move on to the second part of the pattern, which are the B color bands. So go ahead and get your B color bands that you need for. Alright, and what you do to place the B color bands is you take two of them and you place them both going from one pin on one side of the alpha loom directly across to the pin <coughs> on the other side. Now you're going to get <coughs> goodness. You're going to get two more B color bands and place them going from one pin on one side of the alpha loom directly across to the pin on the other side. And again, get two B color rubber bands, place them going from one side of the alpha loom directly across to the pin on the other side, and just do this for all seven sets of pins. And there you go. Once you've done that, now it's time to loom. So go ahead and get your hook, and we're going to be looming all of the bottom A color rubber bands that we placed before. So here on the outsides, there's only going to be one A color band. So you just grab the bottom A color band there, pull it up and over. Then here on these all these center pins, there's going to be two. So you grab both of them and pull them up and over. And you just loom all of the bottom A color bands on all the pins on your alpha loom. Alright, and once you finish looming all those bottom eight color bands, you just you can take your alpha comb and push all these bands here down. Alright, so your bracelet should start to be should start to form and materialize down here at the bottom of the alpha loom. And it's just gonna continue growing as you continue making the bracelet. So yeah, I've shown you the pattern three times and now you're just going to go ahead and continue making this on your own. So, now I'm going to show you how you close this bracelet thing off. So, to end your bracelet off, you're going to want to have your regular hook, your seven clips, whatever seven clips you're using. I'm using all C clips. You want those nearby. And you're going to want to finish this bracelet off where you have B color rubber bands sitting on your loom. So you don't have any A color bands above them or below them, it's just all B color bands. Now what you're going to do 
is you're going to take your hook and what we're going to do is we're going to bring one side so all the rubber bands on one side of the alpha loom over to the other side and to do that you're just going to grab the two B color bands on one pin and bring them directly across over to the other pin on the other side then again you do this with another pin you grab the two B color bands that are there take them off very carefully and bring them over to the pin directly across from them then again you take your hook grab the two B color bands bring them over to the other side of the alpha loom and you'll do this for all of the rubber bands here and make sure all of your rubber bands end up on one side of the alpha loom so there's not some on this side but they're just all over here and so now all of the rubber bands that are on your alpha loom are on one side like this now you don't really need your hook anymore so you can just put it away now you're going to need your clips so go ahead and grab those and what you're going to do is you're just going to take a clip and attach it to all the rubber bands on one pin then you're going to get another clip attach it to all the bands on another pin make sure you get all of them and the best way to tell if you have all the bands is to make sure that if you have a C clip make sure the open end is facing outwards like this anyway you're going to get another clip attach it to all the bands on another pin turn it upwards like this and you'll just do this for all of the pins here on your alpha loop Alright, so anyway, once you have all of your clips attached to all of the rubber bands on their individual pins, you're just going to grab the clips and make sure okay. And make sure that you have all the bands on there, and then you're just gonna pull that those bands off with the clip on them. So all the bands are on here, you can pull this clip off, all the bands are on here. Uh, yep, all bands are on here. Yep. Yep. And yes. Okay. So you can, as you can see here, I just have this little sample, but anyway, I'll be making it longer later. But anyway. Now what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to attach the clips here on this side of our bracelet to the cap band on the other side. <coughs> Goodness, my throat. So your cap band are all these A color bands here that you placed at the beginning, the two or three bands. And what you just do is you take... <coughs> my goodness, okay. You're just going to take the clips on one side of, so on this side of the bracelet, and just bring them down to the cap band here on the other side, and attach the clip to the cap band. And it's probably a lot easier for you because, well, you should have a full length bracelet right now. You just take the clip, bring it down to the cap band here, and just attach it. Make sure you get all the rubber bands. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, even though it's really tiny.
So yeah, hopefully you have a full length bracelet and this is much easier for you because it's not very easy with this little short thingy that I made. There we go. So yeah, now you should have something like this. And yeah, I guess this is the end of the tutorial. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make the peacock or the mother bleh, the mega peacock feather bracelet successfully and hopefully now you have your bracelet and you're enjoying it and you're wearing it and you're like, wow, this is really heavy. And yeah. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial, other than thanks for watching and bye!